Here is a very interesting reciprocal function. Normally books don't consider semicircle as a parent function, but I do. And I've seen in the test many questions, the thinking and communication questions are based on the semicircle itself. You must have seen this formula so many times and this must have always puzzled you as it puzzles most of my students. Here we have f of x equals to 1 over square root of 25 minus x square. Look at it carefully. It is not 25 minus x. It is 25 minus x square. Now whenever I see this kind of a problem in the test, most of my students get puzzled and they come asking for solutions. So I thought, let me put it on the video. Let's first understand this part of the function. Square root of 25 minus x square. Okay. Uh, let's go backwards and see what this function is, right? So I will do it here for you on the side. Let's say y equals to square root of 25 minus x square. Okay. Now if we square both sides, we get y square equals to 25 minus x square. Perfect. Now if I bring x square on this side, I get x square plus y square equals to 25, right? I'm purposely writing 25 as 5 square. Now, does that remind you of anything? x square plus y square equals to 5 square is equation of a circle, right? With center at origin and radius of 5 units. So it is this circle, right? With center at origin and radius of 5 units. This is 5. Let me write here 5. This is minus 5. That is what this function is. I'm saying function because I, will, I started my problem with square root of 25 minus x square. Now, if I have that as my problem, then what do you think is the domain? The domain of x has to be within plus minus 5. If it is beyond plus minus 5, then this is not valid, right? So first part is that the domain is without between plus and minus 5. So let me write domain here for the function, right? So domain is x belongs to real numbers where x is between plus and minus 5. And second thing is about the range. So what do you think is the range? Well, the circle has a range from minus 5 to plus 5. But this square root, does this have a range from minus 5 to plus 5? Square root is always positive and therefore the range is that y belongs to real number where y is greater than or equal to 0. But less than, I should not complete. In the excitement I did this. And less than, 5 in this case. So let me write this as, let me write it again, okay. I know it's messy, but still. So y is greater than 0, but less than or equal to 5. So the y value is actually only from here to here. So strictly speaking, the graph which we're talking about is like this. So we are only considering the positive half of our circle which is a semicircle. Do you see this semicircle? So this positive half of a circle is a semicircle and this function, this is a function not just a relation. Do you understand? y equals to square root of 25 minus x square. Remember one thing, one more typical question is asked so many times. If you actually go from the equation of a circle to find what y is, then when you take x square this side, it becomes 5 square minus x square. But when you do square root, you have to write plus and minus. Remember that. So inverse of this will be, I mean, 
just finding y from here will lead to plus and minus square root of 25 minus x squared and these are two different things this statement I should say the equation does not represent a function right so strictly speaking when I come to this equation I have to write here where my range of y is restricted and y value is between 0 and plus 5. Now it completes the solution. And that is the reason why I showed you domain and range of the square root function. Okay. Now here is a neat and clean graph of a semicircle which is actually representing square root of. So this actually is square root of 25 minus x square. Correct? That's the semicircle which we had been talking about. And now you can appreciate that the domain is from minus 5 to plus 5. Correct? And the range is from 0 to 5. Correct? So that's your function. Now, the main exercise for this video is to graph reciprocal of the semicircle. Okay? So let's do that now. I hope you understand our basic function, the semicircle. And now let's do reciprocal of semicircle. As you know, at the x-intercepts, reciprocal will be 1 over 0. And 1 over 0 is not defined. So we have a vertical asymptote here. So let me put this vertical asymptote in red. So, and it will be like this, correct? So at this point, we have a vertical asymptote. So we have a vertical asymptote and the equation of the vertical asymptote is x equals to minus 5 or x equals to plus 5. So there are two vertical asymptotes here. Okay. Now, to draw the reciprocal, what we can do is we can check 5. So what is the reciprocal of 5? 1 over 5. So 1 over 5 will be like this is half, right? So 1 over 5 will be very close to this place. And we can take some more points. Let's say this point is 4. So reciprocal of 4 will be slightly more than 1 over 5. Correct? And this is symmetric. So we'll put here. So as we go here, it is 3. So this will be like 1 over 3. Let's say this is my 1 over 3. This is 2, 1 over 2. Kind of, you see, as we come here, we are increasing, right? After 1, if we go to half, then the reciprocal of half will be 2, right? But at 1, the reciprocal will be 1. So these points will be invariant points. So we have the lower half of our curve, which will be like this. Correct? And then, as we go closer to 0, the values here are like, do you see this? Very, very small, right? So like 1 over half will be going to 2, right? 1 over, let's say this is 10th, it will go to 10. So it will steeply rise from here. It's kind of, I mean, it has to be closer and closer to my y uh, asymptote, vertical asymptote, right? So this is kind of a U-shaped graph where the minimum is 1 over 5. Correct? Minimum value is 1 over 5. So the reciprocal function, what is the domain of this reciprocal of semicircle? So let me write down the domain range of reciprocal function, that means of f of x. So f of x domain is x belongs to real numbers, right? Such that x is less than, right? Because x cannot be equal to minus 5. We have a vertical asymptote there, right? So x is between minus 5 and plus 5. Is it okay? And the range about this, we can write range here. Range is y belongs to real numbers such that y is greater than or equal to 1 over 5. 
So that's the domain and range of reciprocal of a semi semicircle. Okay. I hope you understand it. Have a close look at this graph. Correct. So this is my line where vertical asymptote is x equals to minus 5 and here the vertical asymptote is x equals to plus 5. Is it okay? And it's like a bell shape, I mean flat, flat, very flat u-shaped graph. Okay. Now have a good look at it. Try to understand reciprocal of a semicircle. We have another video where what we have done is we have transformed this and pulled it down by two units. Now if you pull it down then it will also have x intercepts here and not there, correct? That point is going to come here and x intercepts will move in and therefore the vertical s stores will move in, right? And we have a three part graph. So that's very interesting video. Have a look at that. If you like it, give your comments and uh, uh, let me know if there are points which you need to be clarified. Thank you.